Hey YouTubers, I wanted to make a quick video. This one doesn't pertain to tiny houses directly. This is something unrelated. This is a plant that I have been growing for several years now. This is a mangrove tree. I got the seed on eBay and it was originally in fresh water but I acclimatized it to brackish water and with brackish water you get prop roots which you won't get in fresh water although if it's in fresh water and uh, there's no oxygen to the soil supposedly it will still grow prop roots I don't know if it's true but I know that they won't with in this case anyway you know they didn't grow until I put salt in the water but I had it in an aquarium with some little fish some little freshwater flounders but they're actually you know not flounders they're a little, little sole a little fish called a Trinectes maculatus or a hog choker and it didn't work out too good because the mangrove develops in noxic soil around the roots which poison the fish in the long run so eventually I just gave up on keeping fish with it and I put it in a pail with some sand and it grew very poorly and then when I moved out of my house I got divorced and I moved the thing just suffered terribly they don't like to be moved and it lost a lot of leaves so this whole area you see here had branches and leaves and the interesting thing is if you snip the growth out of the center it'll sprout two new leaves up on the sides but they'll be smaller so every time they divide, the leaves get smaller and smaller. And that's cool because it makes a nice little bonsai display. But I was just about to give up on this thing. Because when I moved, it, it suffered so so badly. It just wasn't growing very well at all. So I, I was going to pull it out and just throw it in the trash and give up on it. But I went to eBay and I found a guy who sells reef soil. Down in Florida, he goes out into the, to the reefs. And he digs up uh, soil from the reefs, from the coral reefs. It sells it for saltwater use. People use it in their saltwater aquariums and their refugiums and things like that. And, and I just decided to use it for this. So I bought a sack from a guy on eBay, and it's you know like 30 bucks, whatever. And uh, I put it in there, and it started to spring back. And I'm really happy about it. I was going to set up a misting system, but they're expensive, and I found one that was more affordable. One dollar at a dollar store. So after struggling with this thing for the last three years, it's finally starting to grow again, and I'm really excited about it. And it isn't much to look at right now, I know that, and it's not very exciting. But I just love the plant, and when I move into the tiny house, it's coming with me. Um, I will put it in a more decorative container, I had it in this one over here, but it doesn't belong to me, and I'm going to be moving very soon in the next few weeks, so I left the, you know, the container here with the owner, and I put it back into this pail which will make it easier to move. When I get relocated, it's going to have to go in front of this self-facing window in the new house, a, or, you know, another self-facing window, um, as fast as I can possibly get it there so it doesn't you know, suffer shock from being moved, and it should be all right as long as it goes right in front of another self-facing window. Um, one year I actually took it outside um, and climatized it to direct sunlight. And it, and it did okay, but it just it just didn't thrive until I put it in that good soil. So I'm really excited to see that it's growing again. And I know it doesn't really have anything to do with tiny houses directly. My YouTube channel is devoted to tiny houses almost entirely. But uh, this is one that I have. That I, it's just a plant I love. It's like a pet to me, and I, I just love the tree. And uh, I'm hoping to see it really, you know, blossom in the future and, and become more attractive than it is. But I just thought I'd share it with, with you, anyone's interested in um, mangroves, you might find this an interesting little video. This is Rhizopora mangle, um, otherwise known as a red mangrove. But uh, there you go.